To make sure you're comfortable with mechanisms, we'll go over four different reaction patterns and how you would move arrows. As we start moving arrows around, make sure you're aware of any formal charges you have to change. First is our nucleophilic attack. Our nucleophile will attack our electrophile, but in this case, we only need one arrow since carbon has a positive charge. It only needed one pair of electrons to become neutral. But what happens when we attack electrophilic centers with a double bond? We first need to find the electrophile. If we look at this carbon, we know it's partially positive due to its bond to oxygen, but we can also look at a resonance form of the molecule that shows us that carbon has a positive charge. So in this case, our nucleophile will attack the electrophilic carbon, but remember, neutral carbon only wants four bonds. If we only use one arrow, carbon would then have five bonds to it, which means it would need to move electrons around. Remember, pi bonds have weaker overlap, so we can move them around. In this case, it's more favorable for us to move them onto the more electronegative atom, which is oxygen. 